John, it's a return to, to league action after a successful SBFL uh, Trust Trophy um, round of fixtures. Uh, a 2-0 win against Partick Thistle, um, who obviously one of the, one of the hardest draws we could have gotten and uh, a lot of people um, maybe would have said that it was... Uh, that they were the favourites, but a terrific performance, a dominant performance. Absolutely, yeah. Very difficult to add very much to what we said on uh, Friday night after the game. Yeah, going into it, uh, part of this would have been the number one seeds at the top of the table in the championship, and that would have made them the number one seeds. Uh, yeah, we uh, respect that they made a, a number of changes, but we still felt that they were a good side, and we had to make sure that we were very much at it. And we were, we were. We, uh, we were on the front foot right from the, the first whistle and you know very uh, happy that we managed to maintain that relentlessly throughout the whole game our uh, performance levels were were first class uh, the players attitude to the game and then we went about the game was spot on in every aspect from the defending through the midfield and to the to the attack uh, where everyone played their part from back to front uh, so really pleasing if there was only any criticism it would have been the fact that we didn't you know, score more goals because we had great opportunities, really good opportunities, well worked opportunities and the two goals that we scored were very well worked and goals like from a coaching point of view myself and Paul, uh, things we work on all the time, the, the movement to get into these situations and we've really not been getting uh, goals, you know in other games we've been getting there and not getting goals, at least we got these two goals from crosses uh, so very pleased about that. As I say, the only thing we could have added more goals because we had created great chances. You know, for to have 20 shots uh, in the game against a, a team in the calibre Partick uh, speaks volumes for our performance. But of course, yes, that's what we've got to do. We've got to try and uh, maintain that level of performance. We'll set a very high standard. We did very well against uh, Dunfermline. And to be fair, when you look back, you know, it's only been that Celtic game where we. We didn't uh, turn up and, uh, you know, we're human. And when you look at the three games prior to that, you know, against uh, Queen of the South, Edinburgh City and, and Peterhead, we were very, very good. So just that one sort of blemish, and other than that, we've been doing really, really well. And we are looking to continue that this weekend with Clyde, where again, we understand, and we actually did have a very difficult game against them in the, in the League Cup here. You know, Craig McGuffey's free kick being uh, what separated the teams that day. Uh, we look to do better than that, and we we look to try and you know back up the win against Partick with a, another home win. And that win against Partick, um, I don't know if you ag uh, would agree, but probably uh, our best performance of the the season so far. Um, are, are you satisfied with with how far this team's coming in such a short period of time? I think the Partick game would be the complete attacking game. I think against Hibs, we had to you know, we thought we were very good against Hibs. But we had to end up defending and defending in numbers and defending deep, which we did very well. And another characteristic which was very good on the night. But since then, that performance on Friday night is way and by far our best performance. Uh, so delighted, yeah, delighted. I would totally agree with that. Uh, it's up to us now to try and maintain that level of performance uh, going forward. And if we can do that, then you know we'll, we'll take a bit of beating. And one player I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you about over the who's performed particularly well over the last few games is is Rumar Burrell. How happy have you been with his impact in the squad? Um, I know he's he's kind of maybe took him a few games to settle in, kind of coming off the bench, and now he's now he's starting games and he's he's causing real problems for for defenders. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's one or two guys came in late. You know, even one came in later than than others, and uh, we had to sort of work him into the team, you know, he came at the time and he had a little injury and we had to, he had to bide his time to get in the team. He's dropped out uh, with an injury. Rumarn came in even later than uh, Juan, uh, him and Ola come, Ola come in at the same time. Uh, and these guys are having to try and work their way into the team. So, Rumarn came off the bench at Edinburgh. He did really well to score the goal he got. He, uh, we sh the team should have scored another goal uh, down to his running in behind and his, his ability to get uh, you know to create a goal scoring opportunity for Callum. Uh, and then after that, he did very well when he came on against Kelly. And then the door opens up for him against Dunfermline. Big big game against Dunfermline, and we've seen what he did you know to their defence. And he's followed that up with a great performance against Partick. So really really pleased. He's now confident. You know he he. Uh, like a lot of guys down in England, he floated 
around about a few clubs down in England on trial here and there. Uh, we were obviously looking for a striker. He was at Kilmarnock last year, so I asked a couple of guys there about him and they gave us good uh, feedback and, we, and uh, we, we, we took a chance with him and now that chance looks like it was a, you know, the right decision and uh, yeah, he certainly, you know, in training this week, he's been absolutely flying. And just looking ahead to, to Saturday's game, um, we are at home again to, to Clyde um, and it's a start, it's the first fixture in a, in a, in a month that's going to be quite difficult for us. I think we've got six fixtures um, throughout October. Um, going to be a really crucial period to try and get points on the board. Um, this is a, a good start given the, the confidence and the, the, the way that you guys are performing just now? Well, I hope so. Yeah, exactly that. We, we must uh, perform the way we played the other night. There. Now, every game is different. Every game is different and we have to respect Clyde. They made it very difficult for us in the league, as I mentioned. And they won their last game there in the, you know, the Trust Trophy as well. So they'll be buoyed by that and they'll be looking to make it difficult. I understand that Danny's team is not no going to come down here and just lie down and let us walk all over the top of them. We'll need to work extremely hard. But I believe we've got uh, the players and we're in a good place. We're in a very good place. Confidence is high. But we don't want to uh, be complacent. We've got to very much show the right attitude. Or if we can work to the levels that we've been working at, allied to the ability we've got and the motivation that we've got, uh, the confidence that we have, then you know I'd be thinking that, again, Clyde will need to play very well to, to beat us. Yeah, So we respect our opposition. We always do. But we've also got to believe in ourselves and have confidence that we can we can uh, follow up on the, the Partick uh, with another win. And as you say, a very, very big month, uh, October, a really big month, some difficult games coming up. But at the same time, winnable games. And I think it's a big month for a lot of teams. You know, we're going to get the next two league games, will get us up to the nine, which would be the first quarter. Uh, and you know you reassess and reevaluate. Like look at all the teams now. We've all, pl all played each other once. You know who's going to be who's going to be there or thereabouts. Who's going to be the competition? How are we going to do? You know and uh, look to kick on from there. And going into the Clyde game on Saturday, um, some more players coming back from injury. Um, we noticed that Finn Malcolm and Brad Mackay were both on the on the bench on Friday night. Um, how many other players are, are close to making a, a return? Yeah, you're right. Brad and uh, Finn were both on the bench. They both played in a bounce game on Tuesday, so they've got minutes under their belt. Kai Kennedy uh, also, you know, Kai came on in the game against Partick, but um, he's got a good 75 minutes under his belt. Juan uh, was not involved in the game, however, Juan is trained all week and should be available for selection. So that's good, that's good news, you know, it's uh, players that are coming back from injury, we're only really looking for Ryan Williamson now, uh, PJ Morrison, um, Jamie Wilson, I think, and then Paul, obviously Paul, uh, Paul Watson, obviously, you know, that would be uh, the whole lot, that would be the whole lot of the guys, so... You know that Paul's going to be the one that's going to come back, probably the last, the latter of the, all them. But yeah, Ryan Williamson is getting closer, and uh, you know it would be good to get get him back. But the straw, is, you know, the squad is very strong, really strong. It's good competition. Uh, so delighted with where we are. Just need to grasp this opportunity that we've got a home game. We've been doing very well at home. One draw, five five wins at home. You know, uh, fans have been fantastic. We'll need your backing again. And, you know, we think that Clyde are going to make it difficult, so we'll, we'll need to show patience on the pitch and we'll need to show a little bit of patience, you know, in the stands as well. And uh, I'm sure the, the boys will come through and uh, with your backing. John, thank you very much and all the best for Saturday. Thank you.